Everybody and welcome back. I'm out trying to get uh, my miles for the Festa 500 today. Uh, my legs are definitely now starting to get tired. Um, hopefully I could get 25, 30 in today and I'll be in good shape to finish tomorrow. But while I was out riding, I thought I'd take a chance to look back on 2021 a little bit and some of the things that happened in cycling this year for me. One of my big goals was to get out for more overnighters. Just, you know, if there's a couple hours even to ride on a Saturday, you know, even later in the afternoon, just getting out getting to camp spots, having a fire, getting a couple good days of riding in. And we did that, you know, we did the swift camp out to Ben's parents' house out in Garrettsville, went down to Amish country a couple times and camped in Dundee, um, Punderson State Park in the eastern part of Ohio and out to Pima Tuning in Pennsylvania. So yeah, just ended up doing that. So that was uh, goal number one that I was really happy to have pulled off this year. And I want to do more of that going into 2022 as well. So another big highlight of 2021 was the three big trips we took. First in the spring, we went down to West Virginia and rode the North Bend Rail Trail with all its really cool uh, tunnels. Our buddy Kenny planned that and a great crew um, went out and rode that and camped. It was a really fun time. Next was over July 4th. We did what we've done for the last number of years and rode um, Ohio to Erie. Uh, this year we started down in Cincinnati and we also heavily modified the route. Um, we took some new trails we had never been on before and then uh, Ben planned some awesome country road routes. Uh, the routes are so chill, these country roads, that you almost felt like you were riding on a bike trail for part of them because, you know, a car might go by every 10 minutes. So saw a bunch of new small towns I had never seen and all that. And then the last big trip was going all the way out to Connecticut for Nutmeg Nor'easter, which that event was just so fantastic. Um, the speakers, the other people, the other riders, the people that I know now because we were all there. Uh, it was just great. And then after that ride, me and Ben went and toured the state a little bit, got to stay with a friend, just an absolute blast. So those were the three big trips and I hope we could do more stuff like that again in 2022. Um, I'm really only limited by budget and time, you know? <laughs> Another goal I had was to get out to more local cyclocross races, knowing that some would be back this year. I only ended up getting out to two because of my schedule, but I was still really glad I did. It's just such a fun um, thing to do. The events are so fun to be at. Uh, it's fun to cheer on the other racers, heckle the other racers, and, you know, depending on the venue, have a beer or two. Um, I don't know. We've A bunch of us have talked about it. Maybe uh, Dirty River, we need to jump jump into some of these races next year. We'll see. I hope, I think I will, you know, just the uh, Cat 4 or 5 race go out there and do it for fun. So either way, I definitely want to go and watch more and hopefully even ride a couple. Another thing is I'm really glad we got out and did a lot of exploring. Um, a lot of country roads, that's something I wanted to do more of, you know, go different routes than we ever had. A lot of our typical exploring and industrial gravel. According to Wander, I've already ridden 877 new miles this year, which is pretty cool. Just cover all new terrain. So yeah, really happy with that. Want to keep doing that. Just go as many different places as I can, find new, new destinations, new roads. That leads into one of the goals that I didn't achieve. And I wanted to do some weekends where I actually got in the car, brought my bike and went and did some more gravel routes. So Ohio does have some great actual true uh, gravel roads and hilly countryside type stuff. So next year, that's something I'm gonna do. I just, one of my things, I love just hopping on my bike from my door and riding, but that also does get limiting because you could only get so far and have so much time. So 2022, I do want to get out there and do even more exploring in this state. When it comes
comes to overall mileage goals, you know, one of the things to me is that, you know, phrase, ride more smiles than miles. And that is something that I do uh, take to heart. You know, Strava lets you put in your goal for the year. I put in 5,000, even though I had ridden 6,500 the two years before. Just thinking, knowing that if I ride around 5,000 miles, I'm gonna be happy with that much time on the bike. Plus, you know, the exploring, doing a little mountain biking, um, hanging out with friends, you know, other people who may not even ride as fast. That kind of stuff is more important than just hammering out miles. That being said, having a lot of fun on the bike and riding the way I want to, just ended up leading to a ton of miles. This ride I'm on right now is going to put me over 7,200 for the year. So the farthest I've ever ridden. And then I still have, you know, another 40 to get in for the festive 500 tomorrow on New Year's Eve. So yeah, but I did enjoy, you know, doing different things. You know, I built up a single speed and did some like, you know, it's more upright and enjoyed riding that. So yeah, all in all, uh, I think that's crazy that I rode that far, especially in a year where that wasn't something that was on my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> come on, right, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the last thing to do is just to wrap up by saying thanks everyone for, um, you know, watching the channel and building this community. It's been a blast. Um, it's been so awesome that I've gotten to actually ride with people this year, so. You know, starting with the industrial gravel ride where a lot of you came into town, going out to Philly, riding with Rick, going down to Columbus and riding with Dylan and meeting up with Pudgy and Malk, um, Rusty coming into town and riding. Uh, I know I'm going to forget somebody, you know, but all that. And then also when I hear that other people through the Discord or through the comment section uh, find out they live near each other and go out and ride together, that's just the coolest thing. This community rules. Let's uh, keep building it in 2022. and. Yeah, I will see you for tomorrow's ride.